You don't have to move a single inch, a single finger, to attract the life of your dreams. You could hypothetically sit in this chair for the next two years, attract people that want to feed you. It might help to grow a beard and a mala and speak some wisdom every once in a while and say that you're a saint from the future. But other than that, let's say you attract that to yourself. You can attract the life of your dreams by simply sitting here, not moving a finger. Why? Because creation does not base itself off of creation. The future has nothing to do with the now, except how you feel about the now. That's what creates the future. So if you were to sit here in bliss and effortless abundance and total conviction in the union, infinite state of being, and you are not afraid to imagine, you are not afraid to create on the mental level and to be excited about what you see and to only pull into your vision things that excite you and that are a representation of that abundance, you will bring that into your experience without having to do any physical work. I'm not saying physical work is a bad thing, but let your physical work be only utilized to pluck the fruits that have grown out of your previous mental creations. So what is the physical body meant to do? Is it meant to do hard work? No. It is created to enjoy on a physical level the non-physical thoughts you've been having. That on a non-physical level you could not enjoy physically. You could only enjoy as physically as non-physical reality allows you to enjoy which is very high vibrationally and very intense, but it's a different type of feeling than the experience of the physical illusion. And so you decided, well, why not project a portion of my consciousness into this physical illusory plane of consciousness so that I can not only enjoy everything on the mental instantaneous plane, but I can also give it the illusion of time and therefore give myself this trajectory of vibrational growth of not having instantaneously what I think of, but having there be a little bit of time between where I am and where I want to be before I pull it into my full-blown experience. And then, when I continue to think the thoughts that I desire that are in alignment with the truth of my abundant soul and my generous soul, infinitely giving, infinitely of service, but also very generous to itself, also very selfish in that it wants joy and expansion in that way. And so having thoughts align with the vision of my true self it will bring into my reality opportunities that are reflective of that. And suddenly I'll recognize it. Hey, two weeks ago, I sat down and for 10 minutes I imagined this. Or even for a split second when someone was talking to me, I thought randomly almost, wouldn't it be nice if this or that occurred someday? And I completely forgot about it. And here it is. Now let me receive the fruits of my thoughts and enjoy. Consume your creations. That's all the physical being is meant to do. Enjoy the physicality that are reflective of its previous foregoing mental creations. But make no mistake, you don't create by physical work, you create by mental imagination. You create by non-physical intention, imagination, vibrational receiving of who you are. That's how you attract future to yourself. You don't do it through physical work. Physical work is only meant to enjoy the fruits of your previous thoughts. So ease your way into ease, and then ease your way into bliss, to the best of your ability, over and over and over and over and over again. And you will find more and more perspectives of how valuable you are. You will find access to more and more ways of seeing life that are in alignment with the Creator, that are abundant, that are self-loving, that are self-giving, that are self-enjoyable, and also other giving and other enjoyable, because you see in that high vibrational state that all is yourself, and your entire environment is your body and your beingness. And so there is no more distinction between other selves and yours, yourself. You are oneself. And so the best way to give to all of yourself is to be in ecstasy, to have access to high vibrational, wise, interconnected thoughts that are of benefit to everyone, to all that is. You can only do that through joy, not through depression. So make it a priority to feel really amazing. Develop the habit to find and search and dig for the perspectives that make you feel great about who you are. Do that over and over and over again until you've carved out all negative thoughts about yourself and all you perceive is that you are the creator in form and that you receive and perceive and are worthy of everything you desire because there is no other law than worthiness. There is no other being but you, the one. So there is no disharmony between what it desires and what it creates and what it deserves. You deserve everything you desire and more. Over and over again until you got it until you have moved up your baseline significantly, and then you move it up again, and then you move it up again. Before you know it, you won't be able to recognize yourself, and that's a good thing. 
because you don't want to end up like you either. So don't take your own advice. Seek for new advice, new perspectives that resonate, that ring true, that fill you with joy and excitement. Okay? That's how you activate the future of your dreams. There's no other way. You, can get to, you cannot get to a positive reality from a negative state. So resolve all lack, beliefs as much as you can, and from the abundance perspectives, you will then match the vibration of a reality that's already here, that's already abundant. You already know it exists, otherwise you couldn't dream of it. You can only dream of something that already exists within your field. Duh. You cannot perceive something that's not already within your field. Duh. So, if you have a desire about something, it must already be in your field and must already be worthy of you and you must already be worthy of it. Duh. No? It's so obvious. You cannot imagine what you're not deserving, worthy or capable of. The more you see that, the more that becomes your truth. And then the more you see it, reflect that you know it.